Welcome back summoners from around the world to the one and only League of Legends Top 5 plays here on Potato Monster. I'm glad you could all join us today as we showcase some of the best plays submitted to us from players across the globe. So without any more delays, let's dive right into this episode with Anquel Bunny who's ganking bot lane on Lee Sin. After landing his Q on Fizz, he slows the fish with Cripple so that Lucian can swoop in and snag the kill. He moves in but gets condemned into the wall's vein retreats thinking she's safe but an unexpected smite allows for Sonic Wave to connect. Despite the heal, he flash alts vein and then immediately makes his way to the jungle to break line of sight while avoiding the binding. Knowing he's basically dead, Morg walks in, but Lee Sin just doesn't go down thanks to his shield and passive, making this a 3 for nothing. Coming in at our number 4 spot, we have Kazi Raruni on Ari with a great turnaround play in a losing team fight. With the friendly blue team getting crushed, Ari and Lulu have made their way back to tower. When Vi goes down, Jace moves in but decides to retreat as Ari ults in, finishing off more but then backs off with the final charge of her ultimate still available. She decides to go in and get some nice damage on Caitlyn, popping Zhonya's to avoid the Q as Hecarim heads in. She flashes the gap closer from Jace and catches him with a charm as well as a Q on both as she just barely gets away with her life while getting the ace. Landing in a third place is Rex Santos on Lissandra in a plat elo game. With the gold scores extremely close, this fight is huge, but for some reason the friendly Blitzcrank awkwardly engages from the side. Trying to find her angle in, she decides to sit back as the enemy team zones her away, but when they extend further, she joins Yasuo's flank and sandwiches the enemy team. She appears with a huge W alt and Q on the back line, CCing the enemy team so that her teammates can press forward safely and attack who they please. Although this team fight is extremely close, we slowly start to see Red Team pull out ahead as a final E from Lissandra seals the deal. Red Team waits for Lucian's Guardian Angel and then push down mid to bring this close game to an end. Scoring in at a number 2 spot is Zan's rule on Vayne with a high mechanical play. As they get closer to Dragon, they see the enemy team and go right in with both their ultimates. Vayne gets herself away from Thresh and towards Corky, landing an amazing condemn from out of the brush to knock him into the wall. She flashes the slow from Lee Sin and kites back with an incredible stutter step, tumbling back away from the hook and then she turns the heat and brings Lee Sin low enough for Rango to scoop up the double. Together they focus down Thresh and then she instantly pushes Yasuo back, forcing him to disengage. As the rest of this plays on, we see Red Team do just about anything to keep Yasuo from defending his base. With only him alive, they're able to turn this one team fight into an oh so satisfying victory by pushing down mid to take the Nexus. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Delta Ripper on Amumu with a game-winning play in a very even match. Right off the bat, we see the enemy red team looking to capitalize on the kill they just got by taking the dragon as well. Amumu and the rest of his team are posted on the outside of the pit waiting for the best time to strike. All of a sudden, Zed goes in early, but the mummy keeps his cool and goes in with Q, smiting dragon mid bandage toss into an epic five-man ultimate. While this is happening, his teammates are sitting on the outside, DPSing them down from over the wall. Despite the 4v5 teamfight and how close the gold scores were at the start, Delta Ripper pulled out the clutch play to win his team the game and earn himself the pentakill. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Ji Young on Lee Sim, but this is absolutely a teamwork play as everyone on Red Team tunneled their efforts to keep Vayne alive from three fatal auto attacks from the enemy Syndra. As this plays on, I just wanted to say I hope everyone has a great weekend and enjoyed the video. Of course, no pressure, but if you liked it, please show your support by liking the video, subscribing if you aren't already, and favoriting as well. Take care everyone, and I'll see you back here next week for week 189 of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays.